previously on Vampire. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon. What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. And now, Vampire, Episode 5. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here. Rainfield, huh? You'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> oh dear. Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Hey, you're a vampire. I know you. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. I'll bet it is. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Hmm. I feel like Swansea kind of, he's, I'm a vampire. She's a vampire. We've got that other lady who thinks she's a vampire. I sort of think Swansea's a bit of a vampire fanboy. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate. He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Hmm, okay, well, let's see. Um, I'm, well, he sent me here specifically for that. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. Extortion? I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer hmm. grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. I mean, are you out of money? Uh, keep going. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Um, well, is it true? I've also been thinking of taking a bite at the snack bar. So. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? I mean, I need blood too. You are aware that I too know the thirst for the scarlet nectar. <laughs> scarlet nectar. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. 
I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Hmm. That seems fair, I guess. Okay. I don't know why you couldn't be more forthcoming now. All right, wait a minute. Let me just... Um... Uh, Thelma. Okay, so I'm looking for Harriet Jones. Harriet? No. 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 Um... They don't... Hmm. Who the frickity fick is Harriet? Okay, I don't see who she would be on there. Well, I'm just gonna go look for her. Um, let's see which... Seem to be having a row out there. Oh, Harriet. Okay, someone's poached my blanket. Okay, Harriet. So this is the gossip. Hello, Harriet. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. <laughs> Where's Dr. Swansea? Well, <laughs> bumbling intern. Um, just call me your chats, lady. Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harry I'm not, Jones. I'm not Harriet threatening Jones. you. Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. Oh. Um, no, I don't... It's not a medical error. It's... I want to... You're so very rude. I feel like incompetent cunts is... A little over the I top. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. <laughs> wow. Scratching slutty sores. What? Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. You have? See you on the I... next round. But what? I feel like she didn't. Let me just try to... Miss Jones, greetings. No. How do we feel? Okay. <sighs> Again? Waking a poor old woman in her sleep? There isn't a poor life okay, needs okay, saving right, somewhere. Right, right. Um, I want, I have more questions. Now, I need to ask you a few simple questions. Well, if you really must. Um, okay, let's see. Why were you admitted? If you could just tell me why you were admitted. It's terrible, Doctor. What with a pain in my chest, coughing up blood, and I get awfully tired. Wouldn't be so bad if I hadn't lost my house and all. I see. No one comes to visit, you know. Not even my own flesh and blood. Uh, well, you're a little bit um, difficult to speak with, so... Have you noticed any suspicious comings or goings? It would be a great deal easier to make a list of things unsuspicious in this house of charlatans. Well, it can't be that bad. Come now, Miss Jones. Surely it's not that bad. Huh. Have you no eyes? This hospital accepts all manner of souls, regardless of origin. The proper sick cannot heal. We're kept okay, hospitals by don't the refugees. reject people. Everyone here is very capable. I have not seen any instances of unprofessionalism. 
Thieves and murderers, the lot. People have gone missing here, you know. Poof, without a trace. Hmm. It's interesting. I'll come and visit you shortly. You're Good a night, bit of Ms. a Jones. racist, xenophobic. Yeah. <laughs> Fletcher, Sappho. Hmm. Okay. She doesn't necessarily seem to know anything. The patients but she's and really judgmental. Know something. I'll start my investigation with them. She does not like the nurses, I think. Um, okay, I want to run up to my office and check out that little bag of junk that I just picked up real quick. I also kind of want to eat that veteran. Where is he? No, this isn't the right place. Um, have I been in here? He was telling me he was in constant pain, so I want to drink blood and I feel like maybe stopping constant pain might be a good reason to do it and his mesmerized level is low enough, so he's a good candidate. Basically, I'm a typical predator, taking advantage of the weak. Uh, okay, let's see. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Um, do you have, have you heard anything? Rumors? Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings in the hospital? If you want to know what's going on here, you better talk to Miss Jones. She knows everything. Especially what she shouldn't. She doesn't seem to know everything. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Um. Where? Harriet's not on here. Okay, she's. She must be from somewhere else. Um. To. Hmm. I guess I'll find out eventually where Harriet's from. Okay. Um, you know what? I, Goodbye for now. I'm Mr. not going to eat him right now. I don't have the heart. Corner. I'm so torn Daily about roots. eating people. Um, okay. Where's Pippa? It's directing me to find Pippa. I should maybe do that before I go up to my office. Um, yeah, looks like she's out here. Wait, where? Wait a minute. I can also talk to Dorothy or Gwyneth, and there's somebody right in here, maybe? Right? No? Um, where? Where did they? Where'd she go? I'll grab some stuff here. Okay, so I took that. And there's also some patients in here I haven't met yet. Hi, Harvey. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Hmm, okay. That shouldn't be too hard for a hospital. Um, okay, so I could eat him. He's got a mesmerize of one. Um, Dr. Waverly Aykroyd is probably his doctor. All right. All right, let's see. Can't ask him that, any of those. Um, tell me about the doctors arguing. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh hmm, and bones. Okay. So they don't know how to fix your arm. What do you think about the hospital? Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well. It's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, 
But you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. It's a I'm afraid we are. Are you it's sure you pandemic. don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. That's kind of a dick move. Um, I'm a doctor, but I won't help you. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Makes sense. All right. Um, tell me, have you heard anything about blackmail? Have you heard talk of any blackmail here at the hospital? No. Nothing. Mm, not helpful. Okay, so I can't ask any of those. Um, I think we're done here. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I was thinking about eating him, and then he mentioned his family, so it makes me... Oh, I need to think about it more. Oh, Don't waste your time with me. Those are the Goswick sore throat guy. Will this shift All right. Never um, end? Who is this? Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Doctor Reed. Doctor Strickland. Doctor Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are. I am Thoreau Strickland, Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, oh, Dr. Reed. You're very different than your buddy there. <laughs> um, Dr. Ackroyd thinks I'm useless. Um, tell me, let's see. Um, oh yeah, tell me about Ackroyd and his aversion for modern methods. It's a little off-pitting, to be honest. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical I, science. I think I should eat Dr. Ackroyd. Um... Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. All right. Calm I down. I my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. Um, tell me about your experiments. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. Huh. Okay. Well, how did you get into doctoring? What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. Yeah, your admiration is a little overwhelming. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna call him out on that because... Yeah, it's a bit much. And, uh... Yeah. I, I should, I should just, I, no, hmm, yeah, I think I'm actually going to take this option. Normally, I don't call people out, but I'm doing it. You will obtain nothing from me by flattery, my young colleague. Oh, I was not flattering you, sir, not at all. Just clumsily expressing my sincere admiration. Oh, boy, okay. Well, I didn't... <sighs> What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. Hmm. You seem optimistic. You seem quite optimistic. 
It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test, a test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. I bet you're not. Um, do you need my help? Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. Sounds like... Sounds like erranding, honestly. I might do it, though. We'll see. If I happen to be there. Um, I think that does it, but... Uh, let's see. Did I ask him about his technique? Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him, or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Well, you should... Hmm. I, I, tell me what it is. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. What? Huh. Um, well, but you need to remain neutral in any case. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Okay, so you guys really have some uh, different perspectives there. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. That's good to know. Um... Glad to have met you. Let's see what we have now. Okay. Uh, Strickland and Ackroyd are arguing over how to treat Fiddick, and they're at odds with one another. Still haven't discovered these guys down here. I um, wonder if one of them is maybe Harriet? No, they, they have suits on. And Harriet is not wearing a suit. And also, I've met her, so it would have illuminated uh, the image in there. So, okay. I need to go outside and find these nurses. I was going to go to my office, but Dr. Reed is very easily distracted. Let's see. One of, let's see. Looks like one of the nurses is by the water down here. Um, wait, who's that? That is not Dorothy. Uh, eavesdrop. Press L3 to activate your senses. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, their heart will emit a distinct, distinctive glow. By looking at the citizen, you'll unlock a special interacting action. Look for Dorothy Crane. Okay, that's not Dorothy Crane, it's obviously. So many times. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh there she is. You can't just die like this. Okay. Oh, look at this effect. Okay, so looks like I can listen at the gate You're here. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? Ooh, what's that? 
A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. It looks like a bottle of something, not a... I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Not a thing you read. Okay. Hmm. Why is Dorothy speaking to mobsters? Why is she in a boat? Who's this guy? Where does that lead? Hmm, let me talk to... Oh. She's gone. Okay. Um... Oh, here we go. Okay, going in. Let's see. Go find this mobster. Uh, Poplar Sewers. All right. Gross. Let's see. My objective is to retrieve the thug in the sewers. Oh. I hear screaming. Let's see. What's he's locked the door can't, behind him. Can't go through here. I need to find another way to follow him. Okay, this way. This other door will work. Oh, that does not sound- Oh no, it does not sound good. Sounds like he's murdering someone. Or someone's this murdering man has him. Been savagely oh. attacked and dragged to the floor. There is blood. Oh, wow, that's a lot of blood. Okay. Following the blood trail, we got a skull. Okay, here we go. I don't see his body, though. I'm gonna have to... I don't have any blood, so I need to... Bite somebody. Oh, not biting him. Whoops. There's... Let's see. Um, I can still hear him. What's up here? Get up here. Uh, maybe. Oh no, he's coming to me. Okay. Right, anyway. Bite this guy. Here we go. Yeah. Need some blood. Let's... Oh, I was hoping to drink twice. Oh well. Oh, I can. Oh no, I can't. Oh, this is not going well. Oh, okay. Bite him. Okay. <laughs> I don't like fighting on that little platform. Finally dead, though. Okay. I guess I shouldn't really be futzing around and I should run and save this guy. Definitely sounds like he's in distress. Um, and has already lost a lot of blood. Let's see which way. Okay, we got a skull here. Heal up a little. Oh, one shot. Okay. Alright. Ooh, some serum. Uh, let's see. I think I can equip... Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, up on the D-pad to use that. Okay, and then I guess I'll get another serum for that other slot. Alright, cool. Rats. Yum, 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 yum. It's kind of gross, but you need blood. Good to have blood, because you can do more stuff. My vampire. More blood, more blood, more stuff. Perfect. Moving right along. Hmm. Oh, that's a dead end, so down here. Okay, there's a lot of blood down here. This, where is he? Do I go? Wait, what's that? What sort oh, of oh is no. This? Oh god. That is a, a sewer beast. Ah. Oof. Oh no. Okay. I wonder if I can stun this guy? And get some blood out of him? Hmm. Can I stun him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. This is going to be important. Ooh, he's quick. 
Nikes, he hits hard. Okay. Ooh. Come on, stun. Stun. There you go. There you go. Okay. Ooh. Just have to keep biting him so I can heal and get blood and heal myself. Heal, heal, heal. Because he is a hard hitting mother. Just a serum, too, that I can use if I need to. Oof. Okay, I just have to I have to keep out of his way, but uh, I do need to stun him, so it's a bit of a ow. Okay. Oh, oh dear. All right, I need to back up here a little. Get some. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh, he is tough. He is not taking a lot of damage from my my hacksaw. And his claws are tearing me up. I just... Okay, there we go. Get a couple of hits on him. I wish he was a little easier to stun from behind, but... Seems like that doesn't give me any bonus towards stunning him. Okay. Oh! Okay. All right. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ooh, really needed that. Boy, he's not even quite down at half health yet. It's pretty damn fast. At least my bites do some damage. Oh, what was that? I didn't see how it affected me. Oh no! Ah! Oh, he's drinking. Ow! Ow! Oh god. Ugh. Oh, phew. <sighs> I don't think he's healing himself at all the way I've been, which, thank heavens. Alright, I gotta back off a little here. Get a, some health in. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, just get another heal. Alright. At least the, my heal is not very expensive blood-wise. Alright, get stunned. Drink blood. Okay. Ugh. God, I can't imagine how this thing smells. The blood spear actually pushes him back a little, but... He hits so hard, I'm a little worried about using the blood spear too much when I really need to be keeping myself healed up. Alright. Alright. A few hits in. Oh, he did that thing again. Blood again, gonna have to. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Calm, calm, calm. Heal, heal, heal. I think there's a skill that will let my regen happen faster or maybe increase the amount of regen. I definitely should look into. Uh, uh, whew, look into that after this uh, fight. I definitely needed that blood. Okay, alright. Reset, reset. Oh! Oh, he's so close, he's so close, he's so close. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind just one more serving of blood. One more helping from the... Oh boy. One more helping from the snack bar. There it is, there it is. Alright, I gotta finish this guy off. Alright, let's do this thing. Oh! Alright, alright. 
and just heal it one more time before you go in on him. You can finish him off, finish him off, finish him off. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh finally. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a tough bastard. Ooh, he's vibrating uncomfortably. Very muscular. Oh, I don't like the vibrations. Okay, There's let's see. What's left of him. Wow. Not a lot to check. Oh but my god. I should, anyway. That's the guy that was just outside? Okay. Um, this is Nurse Crane's voucher. I can't believe how fast he stripped all the flesh off of this guy's body. Okay, let's see. If you are sick, if you have no money, whoever whoever you are, wherever you are, come see Dorothea to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petrescu's house and present this coupon. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is okay. Nurse Crane up to? I really must hmm. find her. That is curious. <laughs> Sounds like she's running her own uh, little clinic. Whew, that, that was an intense fight. I think that's the longest one I've had so far. Um, Alright, how do I get out of here? I think... Is this a dead end? I think this was a dead end, so I just... I think I'm just gonna leave the way I came. Whoops. Alright, here we go. Whew, okay. Um... Oh, is that a... Oh, there's a skull right here. Oh, I'm glad they didn't come down and start ganging up on me. Definitely gotten a lot of uh, ingredients and stuff, so I should have a pretty fruitful trip to my workbench. Let's see, which way? Oh. oh, I went up there. That was a dead end, so... And I... Let's see, I haven't... I haven't... That's where I fought that skull. Um, you know, I didn't go this way. What's up here? I should check it out before I leave. And just check my senses for enemies in the area. Uh, citizen to save. Careful, the endangered citizen might not survive the next night. Go check on him. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, I hear... hear something. Oh, okay, some skulls down here. Okay. Someone's trapped behind that gate. Or, I guess that's a cage, basically? Oh, I wish I had some blood. There we go. I gotta have blood. I should have been eating the rats on the way down here, really. I want to see the sky, feel the fresh air. Hello, uh, Oswald. You all right, buddy? What's going on? What are you doing down here? Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes, yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Why, yeah. I wish I could ask him what he was doing in a cage inside the sewer. He seems to have a headache. Um could eat him, but that's only 350 XP. I don't know. That's not worth it. Oh, okay. There he is down in the corner there, Oswald Thatcher. Dorothea Crane is not on here, though. Okay. She must be also from another... District, I, I guess. Um, this doesn't go up or down, does it? I just want to make sure that I'm not missing a bunch of people. Oh! 
Okay. Dorothy Crane. She's the pillar of the unknown district. Okay. All right. All right. That mystery solved. All right. Citizen rescued. You rescued a citizen. He will return to his district the following night. Okay. Got a lot of XP. I should probably evolve. You have anything in this crate? Okay, quinine and clove essence. Yeah, I'd still love to know why you're inside this cage. Alright, now, let's see, let me find my way back out of here again. Okay, so I came. Can I get down there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, I can get more stuff. Definitely gonna be able to make uh, some serums or uh, treatments with all the stuff that I found. Might need to look into upgrading my stake. I had a hard time stunning that that creature. Okay. All right, I think I need to go and evolve. Should be the order of business. Uh, what's, wait, what's down here? Where does this go? Oh. Okay. Whoops. So I guess back to the hospital at this point. Um, let's see, is it... Which way is it? I think it's this way. Oh, is that... Is that a skull or a per... That's probably a skull. So, all right, this is, yeah, this is where I originally came into the sewer. And then that's the gate that I came down through. And that's where Dorothy went off in the boat. What's, where do these stairs go? Last Poplar warning, Falborg. Oh, who's that? Oh, level 13. Um, Steady, boys. We've got one of them here. Oh. I think he's... is that pre-win? You know what? I think I'm gonna just not do this right now. I'm just gonna nope back down the stairs. That might be Dorothea Crane's district because she's from an unknown district. If I go around this way I can get to my office. I think this is, yeah, this is where I killed Clay, and then, um, yeah. Ooh, some boxes. Ooh, tiny common handle part. Any other treasures before I, before I leave? Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Bummer. Okay. Um, so yeah, there should be some some stairs over here I can go up. Yeah. Grab this uh, stuff first, a little aluminium. It's time for me. Ooh, the door's open finally wasn't open before. Yeah, this is my office. Okay, good. Okay, so I want to increase my damage when biting for sure. I think I'll just... I think I'll just take... All, all of these. Yeah, that 
that's the last one I can take. And then um, I do like the spring idea. Um, can't get an ultimate yet. That's level 10. But I think I am going to go for the spring. Um, it allows me to close distance, does little damage. Been favoring melee uh, fighting so far, so this is uh, a good choice for me. All right, all set. Next time on Vampire.